Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Gyan Mimansa. In the continuation with our video lecture series on Indian Polity by Lakshmi Khan, this is our sixth video where we will be talking about the citizenship. We have covered first five uh, videos. For that, you can visit our channel. There is a separate playlist for Lakshmi Khan Indian Polity. These videos will be helpful for 2023 UPSC CSC candidates. From Lakshmi Kant itself, from the Indian polity, there are around 10 to 15 questions every year. Most of the cover, uh, questions will be covered in this video. Uh, in these videos, there will be around 60 videos where we will be covering the whole uh, Lakshmi Kant. And keep watching our videos. We will be posting one video every week. Sorry, one five videos every week from Monday to Friday at 6.15 p.m. Stay tuned. Also, we have started answer writing practice free for all the students. So you can email me info at the rate gyanmimansa.com with your details to enroll in the free answer writing practice test series. Let's start today's video. Now, what is citizen? Who is a citizen? Citizen is a person who is a full member of a state. For example, I'm an Indian citizen. I guess most of you are Indian citizens. And because I'm a full member of Indian state, I enjoy all the civil and political rights, including fundamental rights, maybe legal rights, maybe constitutional rights, each right, for example, constitutional right and Article 326 right to vote. I enjoy that right. So I'm a citizen of India. So there are two types of people residing in India. One may be citizens and another may be aliens. Aliens mean those who are not full members of Indian state. Aliens means who are the members of any other state. Friendly aliens and enemy aliens. For example, friendly aliens are those who have the residents or who are the citizens of countries which are having friendly relation with India. And enemy aliens are those which are uh, the citizens of the countries who are having now, we are not having good relations with India, no friend relation with India. Then there are a lot of rights. I've given a few examples only here, Article 15, 16, 19, 29, 30, and so and so forth. A lot of uh, uh, rights are there to Indian citizens in, within the country, provided by the constitution, provided by the law, a lot of rights, okay? Then, constitutional provision regarding citizenship. So, um, under part two, Articles 5 to 11 covers citizenship in India. Article 5 to 11 under part 2 of Indian Constitution. It is, uh, and it is given the right to make laws. The power to make laws regarding citizenship has been given to the parliament. And in, with that power, parliament has enacted Citizenship Act of 1955, in which has been amended multiple times recently in 2019. We will be talking about the amendments and all the things in separate current affair videos. But before Citizenship Act 1955, there were four categories of people. That is during the uh, adoption of our constitution on January 26, 1950. There were four categories of people who were called citizen of, of India before this act. Right? And these are the categories. One, the person who had his domicile in India. If he or his parents was born in India, either he or one of his parents born in India, or if he has been ordinary resident in India for five years, then the person he or she will be citizen of India. Second, person who migrated to India from Pakistan became citizen if he or his parents or grandparents were born in undivided India. Anyone who came to India from Pakistan during the uh, you know, <coughs> partition period, they can be Indian, they will be Indian citizen if any of their parents or grandparents were citizen of undivided India. Undivided India means in, in India, including Pakistan and Bangladesh. Correct. Third is person who mig migrated to Pakistan from India after 1st March 1947. Those who went to Pakistan but came back later to India for resettlement, they were, they were also given Indian citizenship. This is at 26th January 1950. And person or his parents or grandparents was born in undivided India, but ordinarily residing outside India. So the person who is not residing in India, but their parents 
or grand grandparents, any of them were born in, in undivided India. So they were called citizen of India. And after Citizenship Act 1955, it provides five category of people <clears throat> who can, you know, five ways to acquire Indian citizenship and three ways to lose Indian citizenship. What are the ways? By birth, by descent, by registration, by naturali naturalization and by incorporation of territory. So, by birth means who was born in India. There are different dates. Okay. So, in uh, right now, what is uh, the criteria that we need to understand? The person who born after 2004 will be Indian citizen if, if both of their parents are Indian citizens or any of their parent is Indian citizen and other is not an illegal migrant of India after 2004. So this is the thing which is currently in progress. So the person will be an Indian uh, citizen. And by descent, if anyone is born outside India, but his or her parents are Indian, then the person will automatically be Indian citizen. But after 2004, again, the rule has been changed. The person who is born after 2004 will be Indian citizen only if their birth uh, Indian citizen and who is born outside India will be Indian citizen only if their registration is, uh, their birth is registered in, in Indian consulate in that particular country. For example, X born in <coughs> Nepal or USA, for example. So if uh, X, X's parents are Indian, but he or she is not uh, automatically an Indian citizen unless they are registered in the consulate in Nepal, Indian consulate in Nepal or USA, whichever country they are born. By registration, people can apply, uh, apply for registration. Okay, uh, there are. Uh, Okay, so by registration, the person can be registered on the application in India and by natural, there are few categories of people who can get registration. So you need to read it within the Akshmikan because there is not much to explain here. Just read it. Similarly, by naturalization, few application, the person having a few qualification like who is ordinary resident of India for 11 years in past 14 years, for example, you are applying for citizenship in 2022. So from 2008 till 2022, in these 14 years, you have to be a resident, ordinary resident of India for 11 years. Then you can apply under naturalization certificate of citizenship. And fifth is by incorporation of territory. If foreign territory is acquired by India, then all that uh, the people residing in the territory can be Indian citizen, will be Indian citizen. Okay. Then loss of citizenship by renunciation. Renunciation, termination, and deprivation. Renunciation means if any citizen who is Indian citizen acquires foreign citizenship and renounces by in a written application that he no longer wish to become wishes to be Indian citizen, and he can he or she can renounce Indian citizenship. Termination: If anyone is acquiring acquiring foreign citizenship without uh, confirming or without you know informing Indian authorities, then his or her citizenship will be automatically terminated. Deprivation: There are few conditions like dishonoring the constitution or uh, being in a communication with an enemy state during the war period okay? or anyone who has been uh, granted Indian citizenship by naturalization and is found to have guilty of an offense with two year imprisonment, then they can be deprived of their citizenship. So these are the five ways of acquiring citizenship and three ways of renunciation. Five ways of acquiring it by birth, by descent, by registration, by naturalization, by incorporation of territories. And three ways of renunciation is loss of uh, by renunciation, by termi termination, and by deprivation. Now, the concept of si single citizenship. All citizens, irrespective of state in which they are born or reside, enjoy the same political and civil rights of citizenship of all over the country. That is why 
it is called single citizenship single citizenship means no person can be a citizen of a state every person is citizen of a, the country that is india in usa there is dual citizenship ship every person is having two citizenship one is for to the state to which they belong and second is to the united states but india i'm from haryana anyone can be we from rajasthan but they are collectively citizens of india only because there can be no discrimination article 15 and freedom of movement and residence article 19 due to these two rights we can say there is single citizenship in india next is overseas citizenship of india the person who are registered as overseas citizen of india under section 7 of citizenship amendment citizenship act 1955 are called as ocis or overseas citizens of india then citizenship act of 2005 grant of oci to pios also all countries except pakistan and bangladesh so the uh, overseas citizen of india who are not residing in pakistan or bangladesh or was also given for the pios persons of indian origin or people of indian origin. then in citizenship act 2015 it introduced overseas citizen of india card holder it merged both pios and ocis person people of indian origin and overseas citizens citizens of india both were merged under one overseas citizen of uh, india card holder they, they can get registered as a, as oci card holders they can there are certain rights given to these oci card holder then they can <clears throat> renounce their oci oci cards and they can cancel their registration so there are provisions under citizenship act of 2015 regarding merger of pios and oci we will be discussing this in separate topic this is all about uh, just uh, citizenship that's why we are not going into oci and pios now there are questions please read these questions and attempt and uh, comment in the comment box consider the following statement sorry statements aadhar card can be used as proof of citizenship or domicile once issued aadhar number cannot be deactivated or omitted by the issuing authority which of the statement is a correct this is a question from upsc prelims 2018 try to attempt it and comment in the comment box which of the following articles of india indian constitution deal with the citizenship of india so this was again a very direct question you can definitely attempt both of these question thank you for any information email me at info@gyanvimansa.com further you can join our telegram channel there will be a lot of announcement and also please enroll to our free uh, daily answer writing practice initiative by emailing me your details at info@gyanvimansa.com thank you very much jai hind